Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with 1-800-SUPER and I'm going to pick up where I left off. Enjoy! Uh-oh. Oh no, that's not good. Lucina's ability to walk in other people's dreams has put us on a trail of something. She actually tracked down the dream of a priest who probably belongs to this order of Galleon. She saw a ceremony with people wearing robes with Galleon symbol on it. There were majestic chants and huge drums. All I had to do was wait for the ceremony, for the drums. My hearing led me straight to them. No, that would have been too risky. Listen, I trust you. I want you to stay on the phone. If this thing goes south, at least somebody will know what's going on. Priests of Galleon, hear me! Guess I've arrived on time. For far too long, the so-called superheroes and supervillains have attempted to replace the gods. Their pride and blasphemy will now be punished. Our Lord Galleon, the demon of misfortune, has come to restore the old order. The old order in which people worship the gods. The gods and no one else. My fists itch. Our order has always had the aim of finding the antagonist of Galleon. You know who I mean. The Lucky Charm. The Scarab. He lived in such fear of us that he was hiding in back alleys and subway stations. But we found him, and his fate was sealed. The rest of these blasphemous creatures will now follow. I've heard enough. Come here, you. Nobody move. If I hear so much as one false move, I'll break the neck of your high priest here. Tell me, did you kill the scarab? Were you the one who visited him in the subway before he died? What makes you think it was one of us? Our Lord Galleon himself was with him, in a body that he chose. All he did was look deep into his eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Thus, the scarab's soul was damned, and so the calamity unfolded. You can still have so many superpowers against misfortune. You are powerless! <laughs> In which body is the demon hiding? Nobody knows. Not even the one possessed by the demon knows. He sleepwalks and remembers nothing. Galleon is untraceable for you. And even if your little dreamwalker tracks him down through the window to the soul, the demon can walk from body to body whenever he wants. You can never catch him! <laughs> I'll crush you! You and your good nature. I'll be hearing you. Okay, bouncing out a bit.
in his search, isn't it? Isn't the ear he? Whoa! You probably know who I am. The freezing cold power from the South Pole. The blood freezing evil from the White Hell. But do you know that even the most powerful ruler has a tender heart? My mother is a glacier from the north. My father is an ocean of ice from the South Pole. Climate change is giving them a hard time. And on top of that, the more powerful I become, the more I deprive this planet of its cold. That is why my parents are dying. I ask myself, is the rise to the most powerful ruler in the world worth the death of my parents? Mm, you're right. I wouldn't even be here without them. I'll put my ambitions on hold for now. Thanks for your advice. I wanted to talk to you again. Listen, what that priest said was pretty discouraging, no question. But maybe he was looking forward to his victory too soon. Maybe we still have a chance. Turn northeast! For all we know, the demon has wandered from soul to soul, probably in search of someone suitable for his actions. It fits that Lucida always encountered strange shadow beings during her dream walks. The sound is getting stronger now. Fly a little slower! No matter with whom she talked afterwards, except for a few bad dreams, the person did not remember anything. This also matches the things this high priest said. Yeah, I bet. There's the noise source up ahead. Keep the chopper above this building. I'm going down. Wait a minute. Anyway, Lucida kept searching and found a dream that was the final lead. Luckily, she went unnoticed. You know I trust you, but it would be too dangerous for me to give you that information. All that matters is, if we get the demon now, we can vanquish him. It is vulnerable, but it remains an immortal body. That's it. But the crucial thing was that the demon had to face his victims personally to look into their souls. He had to find one person who knew where the heroes were. One who knew where the scarab was. A person that the heroes had faith in. Whom they told everything. On the phone. Yes. It was you all this time and with this phone call i have found you now the sound of my own voice which you've been listening to has served me as a sound source to locate you what and now i've arrived what knock knock i wish we had met in person under different circumstances the last shadow dream Lucida entered was a dream you dreamed. It was about eternal phone conversations with superheroes. That dream gave you away. Galleon, demon of misfortune, now I speak to you. I know that you hear me. 
You have chosen and used this poor person. This person has grown dear to my heart. But I will not let you complete your plan. There's no way out for you anymore. You can't damn my soul or walk into it. My dull eyes shut you out. Unfortunately for you, a blind man is facing you. Look, if it was just about the demon, I'd make it quick. But this is about you, too. What I can offer you is to end this yourself. I'm giving you this gun. If you sacrifice yourself, you do it for the survival of the city's superheroes. You do it for the people. You have exactly one bullet. What? What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Then there's no one left to stop the demon. The superheroes and villains would all be doomed. You want to be responsible for that? Listen, when I speak to you from within you, you naive human being, you and I, together, we led all these superhumans to their death. Together we must finish what we started. Don't feel sorry for them. These creatures with their superpowers mean nothing to you. Why would you sacrifice both of us for them? That won't bring him back either. I've been in your body so long, I know you better than you know yourself. You think you love these superheroes because you were able to take care of them, because they gave your boring life meaning. But in truth, you don't care about them. You've never cared. Let them go to hell! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'll show you how little you cared about them. One last little game to break your spirit, and then we'll finish my campaign of destruction. Tell me, what does Mr. Shine and Sparkles fear the most? What pain does Alpha Nucleus suffer from? <laughs> what does the Blood Sister fear to lose? <laughs> What's bothering Fast Justice? Oh no! <laughs> Why does Doctor Know How keep failing? Vlad Ksul wish for? What does Sakura Flame want? Oh, no. <laughs> what would Maxwell's Hydra like to have? Oh, no. <laughs> what does Ears want more than anything else? No! <laughs> now do you finally see how little you care about them? Now you do as I tell you and shoot ears so that there is no one left to stand in the way of my destruction of the superheroes to restore the old order. This blind man will die now.
help. Everybody's hunting me. Okay, I can try to save him maybe. understand what happened I didn't have a choice but to ignore my clients If I can't pick up, then I can't... Okay, I don't understand. Let's see what happens, but I might have to just... Maybe if I quit the game... Let me... 
Okay, let me try quitting here. Um, because I don't know what's going on. That's 1-800-SUPER. Check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.